Here we have Charles Halliday, aka Fishwish. Uh, on Charlie's Dorchester ticket, and we've just spotted a really nice fish rising underneath the canopy of those trees that are overhanging. A fish just rose when I turned the camera off, hit Charlie's mayfly, tied by. Oh, yes, and he's got one! Oh, he's missed it! He's not going to be happy with that! That's the fly I'm using on a Gaius's. It's not rising. I'd like to see Charlie catch one, it'll make him happy. <laughs> it's good to see Charlie happy. Oh, a push up, I guess. Finally seen a couple of fish rising here on the um, slack to the left of the flow. Ah, what? <laughs> there you go, see all that casting. There's a fish right in front of me. Very long, lean fish. Might need to change that, it's actually mullered. Sure, you don't want to have a go. A beautiful fish. Get my hands on it. Wild as they come. Another absolute bruise of a wild fish. It's the fly out. Well, that's where he was sat, literally just in front of me, underneath this uh, overhanging uh, water hemlock, is that? That was a rise, there we go, right up the top there. So I can get him to rise. That's it, that's it. But he didn't rise. Why is that? He's got to take that, surely. He's not getting it tight, tight enough to the left bank. That's the one. Go on. That's got to go shortly, man. The only thing is it's slower water up there, so my fly is dragging the moment it hits the water. There we go. Just pushed up a little bit further. Yes. No. Right down by my feet. There you go. Intrude. And that's my brother coming to spoil all the fun. He said he was happy to come and watch. I knew he'd only last an hour. He was saying he wants to go home. Look at the power of those fish. Crazy. He's bored. He's got like this mental block to fly fishing. He just won't do it. <laughs> yeah, so you can ask for a nicer evening. It's only really three or four weeks a year that the fishing is as prolific as it is now, today. Quite a strong breeze right in his face as well, just to make it a little bit more difficult. Wrong fly. No, it's okay. I think if you get it on top of that fish, we'll take it. Over that corner, isn't it? It's just a bit further up, yeah. There wow. it goes again. That's the one. Oh, it just, the wind just blew it back. Oh, it's fluffed <laughs> it. The joys of fly one. fishing when you're a novice. It's a really nice rod, this. Having got no, no way. I think it's the wrong fly. Pass. Oh, <laughs> that's what we're using. One of uh, is it one of the guys' ones? <gasps> I 
thought I thought <laughs> that was wicked. I, I was just, I said to you, didn't I? I was just about to say that that's, that's got a sitter written all over it. Will he come back again? Do you think? Just, just call look at all these flies that are around me. Oh, it's dragging. Not looking natural now, is it? No. Um, I'm gonna rest it for a bit because I think I've flogged it. Personally, I have flogged it and I have a good chance. So, <laughs> soaking. Or you could try squeezing that on it to soak it up. A bit of, sh bit of chamois leather. It's a Hamadou mushroom. Looks like leather, doesn't it? Wait, what have you changed to? This is a Simon, Simon Pritchett traditional, <laughs> very basic mayfly. Has to take that one. Yes! yes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! That's what I got bend on that rod. Look at that. That was wicked. Caught on camera. Well in, Charlie. That's a good fish, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to have to land it by it, yourself. Yeah. Don't let him do oh, has he done you? No. No way. <laughs> and what uh, what weight rod are we using? Four. That's a big fish, Charlie. Isn't it? Um, do you want to get the net or? That's cruising. <laughs> It on camera. It's, my, um... it, it's not pretty much of a fight up compared to the other ones. That's a nice trout. Let's get a close up on this. That's the biggest of the day by That's far. A fish, well. That is a wild fish. You think so? That's a wild fish, yeah. Look at his dorsals. Wow, look at that. Look at his pectoral fins compared to the other ones. That is a cracker. Uh, can you, oh, can you uh, look at the chunk yeah. on that? <laughs> Let's get this well done. That's a lovely looking fish. Let's just take the fly, fly popped out my mice. There's a big beak on that. Yeah, it's got some teeth on him. Blimey. Yeah. I'll take a look. So, I don't know. I'll crouch down yeah. one sec. Yeah, if you look at that pectoral fish. That is a stunner. You, and also Beauty. the colours are different as well. They look more yeah. faded. Well done, Good Charlie. Spot. Let's get him back. Let's film him. Did you notice um, the, um, the way he thought was, was more wild as well? <laughs> well... <laughs> I can't, I can't. Will's <laughs> laughing at my release of that fish. It, I, 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 it's, it's different. Pro, I, I think it was good because it, was, it didn't put much of a scrap, and he went back really well. But it, it was just funny. It, so, but uh, I don't see the point of always caressing. No, like, kissing. You isn't. see how these fish launch themselves at the flies. They launch themselves at the bank. Just get it back in the water quick, isn't it? My turn now. <laughs> and thank you, Simon, for your fly. Yeah, thanks, Simon. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but wicked fly. Some soft grass there. Look at the colours on that. First fish caught on a dry fly for years. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. I think it's a stocky because of the fin. It's pretty mint condition if it is. It's cool. Thank you. Well mm -hmm. <laughs> He's ready. And away. <laughs> Here, Charlie. Ah, oh, nice one. Well done. That was cool. <laughs> it was fish number two. Fish number two. Red spots. Getting right into this. Cheers, Charlie. And away. Come on, son. <laughs> it's not like this on TV, is it? No, there we go, off we go. Cheers, Charlie. I came thinking I was going to blank and have a good, good gillying. <laughs> Can't work out if he's stocked or not. He might be. Difficult to tell because he's got the red spots. 